Hi everyone, it's Kyle. I'm going to show you one of my favorite proofs of all time. It's the proof of sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. So this proof starts with a circle on the xy plane and it involves us looking at a point on the circle. So of course any point on the circle, let's say that point, uh, any point in the circle would be a radius r from the origin. That's the definition of a circle. And let's say this point is the point x comma y comma right there which means if we take a look at this point this point would be a distance x from the origin on the x-axis and it would be a distance of y from the origin on the y-axis right notice we also have um, a right angle right here we also have another right angle right there, but let's take a look at the right angle of, uh, let's just take a look at, at this triangle right here. And let's call this angle inside the triangle that's uh, connecting the hypotenuse down to the x-axis, let's call that angle theta. So let's draw it a little bit more clearly. So let's just draw a little bit more clearly like that. This angle would be theta. This, uh, the, the radius is, or the hypotenuse is r, this leg is y, and this leg is x, right? Of course we have a right angle right there. So, uh, using the Pythagorean theorem, we can immediately, sh we can immediately just say that x squared plus y squared equals r squared, right? That's just the definition of the Pythagorean theorem. That means if you have a right triangle, then the sum of the squares of the two uh, sides of the triangle, or the two legs of the triangle, is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So this is just the Pythagorean theorem. So the Pyth theorem. Okay. But now let's introduce a little bit of uh, trigonometry here. And let's take a look at the sine and the cosine of, the of theta. Okay. So the sine of theta has always been defined as the opposite leg of the angle, or the opposite, yeah, sorry, the, the leg opposite of the angle divided by the hypotenuse. Cosine theta is divide, defined, sorry, as the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse, right? And in this case, theta, theta's opposite, uh, the, the leg that's opposite to theta is y. Of course, the hypotenuse is just r. And for the cosine of theta, the adjacent leg is x, and the hypotenuse is r. Cool. How about we now, let's solve for x and y. So how are we going to do that? Well, we can just multiply both sides by r, right? Since we, have, since we multiplied one side by r, we also have to multiply the other side by r. These r's will cancel. And we're left with r sine theta equals y and r cosine theta equals x. So let's rewrite that. So we're left with r sine theta equals y, r cosine theta equals x. And now let's substitute these expressions for y and x back into the Pythagorean theorem, right? So the Pythagorean theorem, the Pythagorean theorem, Pythag the Pythagorean theorem says <laughs> x squared plus y squared equals r squared, right? In this case, x is r cosine theta, right? So let's replace x squared with r squared cosine squared theta. Let me try to fix these twos. There we go. And y squared would be r squared sine squared of theta. And this still all equals r squared. Now what we can do is that we can factor an r squared out from the cosine squared and the sine squared of theta. So cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta theta, and that equals r squared. And now we can divide both sides by r squared. 
So these r squareds will cancel. r squared divided by r squared is just 1. And now we are left with the famous identity I was just trying to prove. Cosine square root of theta plus sine square root of theta is equal to 1. So I hope you enjoyed this video. hope it explained where this uh, identity comes from. And hope you enjoyed watching. So see you next time.